I ain't doing this with you. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I didn't mean to shoot him. All right, I didn't mean to shoot him. I did not mean to shoot him. Yo, 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 yo. Run! Chad, this is part three, by the way. Last time on Red Dead, we robbed a train. We moved out of our area. After we got the gang back together, we pulled up on the Odressels. Our ops, the main ops right now, packed them up, all right? We're kind of warned about the Pinkertons and like, you know, there's kind of a, they kicked us out of our old area. So now we were forced to migrate. We're now next to this local town and we're basically trying to scrape up some money together so that way we can eventually like move into, you know, a, a more well-established area. We just ain't got no money. So we gotta go do a little couple of strange things for some change or something like that. So that we can get some bread, all right? And I think that's what episode three is gonna be about. I don't know. We're about to find out though, all right? All right, all right, they said I gotta shave. Ew, no feature looks crazy, bruh. Yo, Unc. Ow, ow, ow. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, <laughs> eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, I'd rather be the thinker, thinker bro. See if we can find anything out. Sure, I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. If you gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too. Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to see civilization. We're going to civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Ladies. What are they like? What are they talking about? A decent little town. Oh, this town ain't that bad. Finally, look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no, Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us, or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Stairs always on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, now, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. <laughs> Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. 
Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and so that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. The one-shot kid is crazy. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. That's a good one though. So You're my favorite that? parasite? Hell or drop a whiskey for a start. About to start grabbing stuff off the shelves. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. Facts. It's Eat a that. Funny world. You know? This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? I snuck into this fancy house Acted like a servant girl Usually works Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip From New York or someplace Train full of rich tourists Heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil Okay A train laden with baggage And passing through a bit of deserted country At night As to get to the docks in town for the times <coughs> In some place called Scarlet Meadows Yeah, I know it yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. Right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 ain't nobody finna be going over here touching my girls, bro. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Facts. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? What you mean, or what? You wanna find out? You don't wanna find out. Don't talk. Don't even say nothing. Big mistake. Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I didn't mean to shoot him. All right. I didn't mean to shoot him. I did not 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 mean to shoot him. I ain't doing this. Mary Beth, they're across the street. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just want to see what would happen if I press interview. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Oh, you lucky boy, you lucky. Up. Come on, ladies. This sure one will put a smile on your man's face. Guaranteed. Oh, oh. I'll never forget a face. This is your first time here. Come on! Try and help people! Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? Use your strength to help the weak. Nah, you can't help. No trouble now, please. Well, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Wrong room. Oh, nah. Hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! I paid for nothing. Oh, hold on, hold on. Broke our hands. Hold up. You could scam me.
Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. Oh yeah, come here. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Bro, she's committed, bro. Even after the traumatic Thank experience. You, I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. I just hop on just a random work. horse. Yeah. Give more. Hey, take my horse. Just bomb. I'm gonna lie, I'm about to get on this. Hold up. Get back here right now. Oh no. Did he get pushed off? Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now, please, pull me up. Please. I can't hold on much longer. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. True. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. <laughs> oh. That's very kind of you. But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. That's right, Jimmy Brooks. Do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Mr. Calloway. Mr. Calloway. Is Who's your friend there? This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? 
Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. <laughs> well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The jaws of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, it's bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you Sounds paying? insane. A lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. 50% is crazy. Okay. That's a good deal. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Hey, stop. Find another spot. To loiter in. Well, if you got a problem, then you best spit it out. God damn! Oh. Only one of them! Son of a whore! I need to get out of here! Help me! Witness left. My life is worth more than fifteen dollars. Oh my gosh! Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, Mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that. Until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? Bro, they just want me to hunt He's everybody. Down, huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than land and rickets without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. Filler over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. 
You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. Bro, where's my squad at, bro? Like, where are the people I came here with? Yeah, I probably shouldn't have went on foot, but hey, it is what it is, gang. It's too late now. I don't got my horse here. I don't know where the squad is at. I think it might be toward the bottom. To oh, God. No way. Oh, I respawned down here. Are you Benedict Albright? Don't no, run. Sir. Oh, uh, he said no, sir. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. Uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if, if you could help me find him. It's just, my mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, it's for W liar. Man, I'd be happy to hit. W liar. I'm a healer, you know, a medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. There's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Oh, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get rid of no good reasons. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Oh, right. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. The boy had his ball. Mm -mm. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. Well, oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Or oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me. Oh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come in. Uh, bye, friend. <sighs> really do not like Shot him in his leg, bro. Yeah, shot him in his leg. Shit. I got a cross. Swim to the Getting away that easy, buddy. Who made you? Yep, you're done. Uh, 
Let's go, girl. I'm only in it for the money. Judge, jury, and executioner, buddy. Get it right. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Caldorp was, uh, just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. You to shut up, partner. But I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. <laughs> I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Now, please, remember what I told you. <laughs> hey, all right, oh. there we go. Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Now, Javier. Boy, you just a toughest teak mountain man. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk Dang. to a lady? Hold on, Arthur, I getting straight to it. To a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say. Okay, never mind. Find way with the women, amigo. Never mind, Elvis. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy. Are you about to kiss that guy or punch him? Oh, and we have our answer. Oh God, it's gonna be in a bar fight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's square. That's a big boy. Come here, you little greaser. Ready to lose them teeth. Yeah, I get like I could die. Get off me. God dang. Get off my dog. Jesus! You want some too, huh? Oh my god! Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy? You're kidding me. Pretty boy? Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Come on then, big boy. Yeah. Uh, bravo! Come on. <laughs> Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Weave, weave. Wait, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bitch. Mm hmm. Yo, stop grabbing me, bro. What you scared of? Yeah, stop doing all that. Oh, yeah. You mm. mm. right that big old gut. They know me, hey, they know me around the city for my bounties, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm good with that stick. Don't get me, don't get it messed up though. I'm good with the hands too. Hold on, let me show you though. Let me show you though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm on that. Cause it's over for you now. Mm. 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 
Sir, you won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. Facts. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. We gotta go take out the Pinkertons. We gotta go save Sean. Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Uh, 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 like the OG Come doorbell? What is the Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I that just looks like Abraham Lincoln. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children. You reminds of me of Beetlejuice. I don't know why. Yeah, children of God. Oh. Well, how's about you playing this place? Huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I play a few hands. Well, sit Wait, yourself what game is this? Down, I don't think I know how to play. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Okay, poker. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. If I lose, I kill him. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like a lock best of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? It's the one with the highest, right? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Uh, life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, made a pair. No bets made if you can check to bet nothing, place a bet will fold. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again oh, and you'll find yourself in a bad time too. 
I'm just trying to bet right, R2 right. to be Just trying card. to have a little fun Ace here. Is a scarce card. It is a game after all, mister. Beat your pair of planes. Have a look at these. This ain't what you call finishing strong. Big pile of nothing. Mm-hmm. Could have been worse. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I won on accident. Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where is... <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, he crawled outside. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Wait, what? Okay. Alright, I got a little carried away. I just started killing random animals. I'm sorry. I just, you know what I'm saying? It was the ADHD acting up. My fault. My fault, bro. Oh. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Stop that boy out, man. Stop playing. You're a fine man, Arthur. Damn it, Reverend. Hey, you. Get back here. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going after your sheep after this. I won't tell Please, you so. Don't hurt I me. promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. It's the last thing I needed. Should have killed him. My friend! It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. Oh, because he gambled, he's going like he's trying to go to heaven? Done with your foot! He appears to like this place and wants to stay. Okay, we're just adding dra drama, bro. How did the train just all of a sudden start? Like, come Twist on, bro. Leg, go, 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 On his head. What's wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home. Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret, who's Margaret? But 
He was a part of the village? I ain't even peep. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. <sighs> Arthur's a good guy, bro. I think next episode where we do more main story stuff and try to rescue Sean and get the game fully back together. Um, as well as, I'm assuming we're going to get to meet up with some Pinkertons and then kind of figure out what that whole ordeal is and how that dynamic works with us. Maybe they can tell us a bit why they're going after Dutch since I don't think Dutch is going to be with us. So, I don't know. I think next one is going to be a juicy one. But... Know what I know. I don't know. But yeah. Um, that's been part three, though. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.